I'm super pumped to check out these Bose Alto style glasses. I was scrolling through the Googles and I saw this thing and I'm like, this thing looks legit and it's pretty awesome. The reason why I think it's cool, I haven't opened it up yet, but the way they designed it is the speaker is on the side of the glasses right here. And it's supposed to kind of go towards your ear so that you can hear the music and no one else outside can hear you. You got your own little surround sound going on. But I'm pumped to try this out. These retail for about $200. Pretty spendy for a pair of glasses, honestly. I don't know if I'd ever spend that much if we were doing reviews and stuff. But yeah, let's try them out. They look pretty cool. And we're gonna give it a rip here. So just pulling this off here, got a security sticker. That's one side, made in the good old China. Very nice. And we're pulling off this other sticker here, breaking the seal. And here we go. So this just pops off like this. Looks like the box has a little cave for the case. The case looks pretty sweet. Then they have a picture of glasses. I wonder if that's the glass or if the glasses are in here. Let's see. Oh, no glasses in there. Awesome. So that's the box. Now the case, the case is pretty sweet. If you look at it here, it almost looks like a purse or something. Interesting. So the case pops up like this. It looks like it's on a magnet. It's like a vinyl finish. Pretty cool. Oh, just about broke it. So it folds out like this, which is kind of funky. And it opens up into Bose frames. See, I think Bose is one of those companies that they got so bored making speakers and stuff they're like hey let's just make some shades because people pay a lot of money for shades so they decided to make some shades and shove some speakers in it uh, when i first tried the snap the spectacles they sucked really bad they did a really shitty job making them so i'm hoping that bose is a better job with these so here are the the shades they look pretty cool just a typical plastic kind of style nothing too fancy here all right and there are the speakers so here are the speakers right on the sides. It looks like they're right here. When you put them on, they're just chilling right here. So I was actually looking forward to playing some volleyball on these, but I don't know how, how, how much volleyball you'll play with shades. I just move them around in your, on your face. They're not super tight, a little more on the loose end. It looks like they have some gold finish here on the inside of the shades. Interesting. So, it's telling me the battery is 70%. The power button is right here on the right side of the shades. You also see the charger right here. Looks like it's just a magnetic charger. Interesting. All right, let's give it a rip. Let's see how loud she is. Yeah, these are just falling off my face. It's kind of not super cool. I don't know. Huh. So, it's, so Bose machine is talking dirty to me and telling me to start a setup here. So I'm going to start a setup, hit the power button. I don't know how much I'm digging these, but let's see. Let's see how the sound is. So it's telling me connected to my iPhone and let's listen to some music. I'm really actually pretty excited to see how loud this thing is. Oh, can you hear it? That's super cool. Is it loud or not? Nice. <laughs> this is awesome. It's like you're wearing earbuds. This is actually pretty badass. So as you can tell, the speaker is right here and your ear goes right over the top of the speaker. And so you essentially have earbuds on your ears without the earbuds on your ears. It's kind of cool. I don't know about the design. It'd be nice if they actually made something that was a little you know, it would kind of hold on your face better. Maybe my head's small, I don't know. But this is the large size, so maybe I'll get the small. This is pretty sweet. Just jamming away. So how does it look on me, Aaron? Looks good? Yeah. Nice. I know that the speaker's loud because I'm, I'm talking louder when I have it on. <laughs> this is super trippy. So once again, Bose comes out with something actually unique and interesting. And I would definitely say that Huh. All right, so we had that music playing. Here's the rest of the case right here. You got a little felt on the inside. 
rolls over like that. And let's look at the charger. It looks like it's probably just gonna be a magnetic charger that goes on the inside, like I was showing you guys. Here's a little case for it. Here is the charger. Very similar to what the Snap, Snap Spectacle guys did there. Magnetic charger. I'm not a big fan of magnetic chargers. It actually sucks pretty bad. Uh, over time, what you do is you get a bunch of like random metal debris hanging out on these charger ports, and it's no fun for anyone. So it looks like it just snaps right in place to the charger. And then you just plug this into a USB and you charge the sucker up. Yeah. What a unique pair of headphones. Oh, headphones, geez. Unique pair of glasses. Wood sound. Well, it doesn't feel super high quality, not gonna lie. It just feels like a piece of plastic like anything else Bose makes. But the concept is pretty sweet. If these things fit a little better, I'd totally jam on this. And I'm about to. So it looks like when you take it off, it just shuts off. So you have to hit this right button here to power it back on. And then it'll reconnect and the sound should start going there. So now it's connecting back. Now I'm listening to music. Now the music is bumping. All right, so I'll give you guys some specs on these. Bose Alto. Let's see what the website says about this. So, open ear audio, ultra modern material, Bluetooth enabled, UV protected, integrated microphone, and Bose AR enabled. So if somebody calls, you'll be able to talk back to them, which is kind of cool, must have a little microphone built in. So it looks like they put a little Bose speaker inside here. Shatter and scratch resistant, designed to survive life on the go. Nylon rim, uniformity tinted, blocks up to 99% of UV rays, so that's the front part here, metal hinges. What I find interesting about the metal hinges is they're really not gonna do anything. I don't know what the hell you expect metal hinges to do if the actual thing is plastic, it's just gonna break. If you put metal in plastic, it doesn't change the fact that it's still gonna break. They feel pretty weak, not a lie. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, they feel a little smaller than I was anticipating. This is beveled out a little bit. All right. Well, I don't really know what else to say about these, honestly. I'll have to just wear them for a little while longer and see how practical they are about. Overall, it's a pretty sick concept. I wish they didn't use a magnetic style charger because I know through my snap, snap spectacles that it's a pretty dumb idea. But hopefully this lasts a little longer than those and it works and the battery doesn't crap out because that seems pretty common with these. All right, folks, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know if you should or shouldn't buy these. If you want to try some cool stuff and just pretend like you have earbuds in when you have shades on, I'd give this a rip, it's definitely worth it. But if not, I'd stick away from these. Overall, it's pretty cool. And if you have the extra money, I'd go ahead and do it. All right, folks, this is Joe with Joe's Gaming Electronics. I'm signing out, have a wonderful day.